Well, hey there, how y'all doing today? Um, anyways, uh, today I'm gonna be trying to I'm gonna try to remove this um this bench seat out of this H1 Mercury Common. As you can tell, it's gonna need some work for. Um, this needs to be recovered, but I ain't gonna get to that day. I ain't got nothing materials to do it with, but um, I'm gonna try at least get it um come out on the main. Because, um, if you don't see it down there's a spring, you can see it moving a little bit. And, uh, right now it's still intact, I don't want to break it, which I could fix it if it broke, but I really try to keep it like that. And what it is is that on, on the exhaust, see that you see that right there, it's what the seat slides on. And um, and go back and forth and move the seat back up, up, uh, up closer, bring it back the back, and need a little more room. And uh, basically, that whole car's been sitting for 20 years, I've been over 20 years, but basically, it's rusted and it don't work just right. I don't slide back and forth, but that, that latch on the other side, I don't want to release. So, I'm gonna try to take the seat out anyways, and I probably could fix it like this, but it's been recovered and some of the vinyls hanging over. and to me, it just seems like it'd be easier to take it out because it's going to have to come out anyway at some point to fix the floor. Because the floor also was in pretty bad shape. It's nearly a flint steel car on the passenger side, so. Um, but anyways, um, so how to get out is on, on these cars, it's got some bolts that run through the floorboards. This on the driver's side. Let's see. And that right there is the front one, the front nut that holds it on. And let's see, I don't know if I had... let's see. And we was up there, and this right here, way up in there. Somewhere right there. Right there, up in this space right here, there's a bolt. Me me a stuff coming out with a nut on it it's like this one and hold the seat in there what i'm gonna try to do is try to get it loosened hopefully without breaking it off because that'd be a real damper i'm reusing the seat but anyways first thing you want to do is you want to take a brush and uh, i think that's actually used supposed to be used for uh Plenty of slag off at of wells, but this works really good for moving rust. What you want to do is get try to get some of that rust and dirt off of it. Um, basically, made it clean so it'll be less trouble when you go take it off. Just want to make this clean as, treat as clean as possible. Springtime right now, everything's trying to grow. So, that right there. Yeah, that's right that's good it's gonna get. So we can do it on so you can see it up in there anyways, but I'm gonna try to get a smaller brush right here up in there. To, to get some of that dirt off. And there is dirt up in there. But hey, Next time I'm going to do is put some pins right on because, because this is on the other side of the car and this has been towards the line more over the years. Use something called crawl. This stuff's a little bit better than the um, PB Blaster. I mean, it, it will dissolve rust. It, it really likes to penetrate and do some good stuff with it. So I'm going to try to see if I can get on this boat right here. I mean, it's stood, I mean. The stud coming out of there. Let's get get any on me. Okay, that's plenty. So now you do is just let it sit like that. This one go up in the threads and hopefully loosen it up. 
I'm gonna do the same thing on the rest of the stuff and I'll be back for y'all in a minute. Well, anyways, hey there, uh, well, anyways, um, I ain't see the, the, uh, the pole oil sitting there for a little while, so now we're going to tap on it some. Try to get some vibration down in there. And now what we're going to do, we'll put, this is a 9 sixteenths, um, a beat weld socket. And, uh, Anyway, we're just going to try to dart loose some. Oh! Wow, that... It's a lot easier than I thought it would. Man, that probably works worse good. We didn't try to... Man, look at that! By the way, Crow is not sponsoring me, by the way. That's of yet, but... Look at that. Yeah, I love Pete Blaster, but... This cool old tree does work good. And who knows that thing might not have been that rust after all, but I mean sitting up there in a the car though, like this. Especially in Mississippi, this thing came from Jackson. And uh, look at there. Right off there. Most time on something like this you have to do a lot more back and forth, but this thing came up real easy. But anyways, I'm about to do the rest of the car. See y'all in a minute. Hey there. Uh, anyways, I started taking off the second bolt here in the, or, or the back uh, nut that's on on the driver's side of this, of this bent seat. And uh, Anyways, it started adding a little resistance more than that. But anyways, on some like this, whenever you start seeing a little resistance, you want to go back. So anyways, here we go. When loosening them, then it's starting to get a little trouble. A little pinch, so you can move back and forth. Move back a little bit and go forward again. And it does even a better job if when you're doing this, you spray a little more oil on it. Some kind of penetrating oil of some sort. Or, but just keep going back and forth. Keep working it. What you want, you don't want to do is overdo it. Go too much because put too much stress on the on the stud and on the nut. Something's going to end up breaking. So there is a certain amount you do want to work in a certain amount. If you go over it, you know you're going to bust it, and it's going to break, and then you're going to be in big trouble. You just gotta keep going back and forth. Finally, he'll get loose. Come on, baby. Just keep going back and forth and back and forth, finally. Peek out here, see. Let me get this off here. If we ain't far from the end. Let's keep see if we keep on going. I think that last turn was tightening, so I don't know. Let's turn it back up. Loosen it back up, hopefully. We almost there. Tight. 
Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Who is this one? Come on, baby. I'll see y'all in a minute. Well, hey there. Uh, well, I finished getting all the bolts out. Uh, I mean, sorry, those, the nuts out. And um, this right here seems to be the, um, the one of the easier ones to do. I wonder if that was fairly easy to, to do as well. I'd, I'd add to work down just a little bit more than this one. This one did seem to be one. This one right here on the driver's side did seem to be... Oh, there we go. We can finally see it now, right there. It did seem to be the harsh one there. I don't know if it's because, as well as the other one on the other side, that's in this, um, you can say that a frame wheel or, or some or a structural sport of some sort. But I don't know if it's because when it was in this, it didn't have a lot of moisture out of the way, or if it had more dirt in there that I couldn't get off with, with a brush or, or rust or whatever it was. These did seem to be from the hard ones, both on both sides, but this one was the harsh one. Where I showed you I was going back and forth with it. Of course, I have to go back and forth on their, on their side too. But I have got all um, got all the the nuts out. I'm ready to bring it out. Let's see if we can get the camera uh, shot um, to where I can. I'm going to see if I name. Uh, anyway, I'll see y'all in a minute. Well, hey there. Um... <laughs> Well, anyways, you can see the seat is out of the car, and um, of course there's a lot of junk in here, but a good bit of dirt and crap, and, but it's as bad as I thought, of course, we have the, the uh, Flintstones hole right there, and uh, so I'd like to note, I reckon this is the original, um, Floor material in here. There'd be some kind of rubber, and which is kind of weird to me because see, let's just and look at there's a Ford number right there. That's probably the that's the original Ford number. Um, this came with, but um, it's interesting because I, I what I've looked what I've seen so far just by looking at registration catalogs and any parts catalogs for this car. There's a uh, it's not really, um, I'm only saying car for these things, I haven't seen any, uh, you know, rubber vinyl flooring. Essentially, this is a penny I just found in there. It's from 1970. So, I mean, I think that's been in there for at least 20 years. Um, of course, this is a 61 car, so, but, um, But anyways, um, here's what the floor looks like now. It does have the um, vacuum powered uh, wipers, uh, so that's me interested to work. See if that works or not. Um, but anyways, it's a lot more room in here now. <laughs> anyways, here's a seat. So these seats tend to want to fall backwards. You think bolted down, but there it is and as you can see there's the handle you pull to get uh, moved back and forth and um, at least there's the rod comes over to this right over here which as you can see Try 
right there. Uh, Y'all hold on for one. And as you can see here, that shit ain't rusted at all. That part ain't, but let's see if we can get that to stay up like that. And get that. To, so that's out of that hole. Let's see if this is well. That, yeah, that's what I thought, as you can see, this last little slide is rusted. And, um, I don't think it's as far back as it could go, so that means I might have to make an extension on this thing, which is good, but, but I don't know, though, we'll have to just to look at it a little more and see, but, um, there's that anyways. Run to the shop and clean it off some and, uh, put some, grip some coal down in and let it sit for a while. In fact, I'm probably just going to let it stay down there for a while. There, I just want to give y'all it's um it's a little something extra I was gonna show you. Um anyways I'm gonna put these um in fact I've done already done on all of them but um I'm gonna put these uh these nuts back on the studs and uh basically what, what, what I've done is I just took this wire brush and cleaned up the spreads a little bit the studs and um made screw the stud back on there. And when you screw it back on there, you kind of want to make it to where the stud and the end of the nut are about even. So that way you protect the threads and um, you just made it worth less damage to the threads and made them be a little more stable, you know, a little more, you know, just some because especially if you want to save these, these studs and use them again, which I don't think you replace them anyways, but uh, it's a good little kind of practice to protect the threads. Um, I might do another video about how I'm fixing this stuff, but I don't know what I can see. But if it's so, hope you have a good day and God bless y'all. See y'all later.